Hi everyone, it's Kim with Card Creations by Kim.com and um, I am going to be making a tag today um, related to Easter. been pumping out those Easter cards like crazy and um, decided I need a little change of pace. So um, let me tell you exactly what it is that I'm going to be using. Um, I picked these up at um, Michael's and they're, they're just tags, um, six and a quarter by three and a quarter tags. Um, the next thing I'm going to be using, um, I picked this up in the dollar bin at Michael's, but it was actually only 50 cents. They're little charms, um, so I, I scored on that. Um, I'm using these Jolie's Boutique um, stickers. They were on sale for 40% off, so I got two of those. And um, I also got these Hero Arts stamps at Michael's. Um, they're on sale also, um, but they have... A variety of celebrate every day, Happy St. Patrick's Day, etc., etc., um, which I have a lot of stamps, but I don't have one that gives the holidays on it, so um, I like that one a lot. I'm also going to be using our Martha Stewart Punch. Um, this is a real pretty one, it turns out cute. And um, the Distressed Inks that I'm using, uh, Tim Holtz. I've used so many different distressed, I mean, inks and Tim Holtz is uh, really working out well for me. And um, that color is uh, peeled paint. And this one here is dusty Concord. So let's get started because I just noticed that the battery on my camera is going to, about to die. <laughs> this is really a quick thing though. Oh, and then some ribbon. Celebrate it. Michaels has this on sale right now, 40% off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is ink up my um, distressing foam pad and um, just start from the edges. And just look at how, how beautiful that turns out. It doesn't take a lot. And then you want to start from the edge and work it in a little bit. Just a couple little taps and you're good to go. Set this aside. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to. I got this at a scrapbooking expo. I got six of them, but and I love them, but I can't remember who the company was. So if anybody's watching this video and you know who it is that sells these, I'm actually going to be punching the bottom here, so I'm not going to distress that. But if you know anybody, if you know the company that sells these little um, fingertip distressing pads. Could you please let me know what it is? Um, my website is cardcreationsbykim.com um, and you can leave me an email. Okay, then I'm going to take my punch and I'm going to start out with it. Sorry for rushing. I'm just afraid my battery is going to go dead. Try to get it in the middle as best I can. Uh, not comfortable with that. Okay, there we go. And I'm doing this backwards, so get those out of the way. And then I'm going to try to line it up to the edge here. I do have the corner punch to this, but there's not enough corner left to it to punch it. And right over here. Line it up. Very nice. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to lay down my flower design. Get this out. And I'm using this one in the middle here. And certainly add more, which I might go back and do that later. Sort of reminds me of an Easter flower, you know. Then I'm going to use the um, green, the um, peeled paint to stamp my Happy Easter. About right there. And then I have these this cute little accent stamp, which I don't remember where this came from. And I'm gonna oh I see what I did here. I stamped it differently, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just put these in the corner. Just light like that. And the other corner. Very good. Then I'm going to get my 
ribbon and I'm gonna say probably eight to ten inches. This has got a little bit of a wire in it and start with going underneath and since I'm going to put the little charm on it first I'm going to tie it like a beginning knot. I'll adjust that in a minute. Um, grab my charm. These are all different charms. I wish they had more of these for 50 cents. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Sorry about that. I'm going to keep the wire that it came with for the shipping. I'm going to slide that under. Give it a little twist. Fold it underneath. And then it'll still allow me to tie my continuous knot. Make sure that it goes like that. And then straighten it out the best I can. Cut our edges, leaving just a little bit over. We don't need it to be exactly right on it. Make sure our wire's not showing. Oh, totally off camera there. Okay, so um, really that's a simple tag and um, using distressed ink, a couple of stamps, some ribbon. Um, you know, give a tag instead of a card for Easter. Um, be a little different. Um, Alrighty, uh, I, this will be on my blog, um, so if you have any questions, you're welcome to um, ask me about that, and it's uh, Card Creations by Kim.blogspot.com. Great. Alright, have a sunshiny day. Bye-bye.